Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Cook It. I'm Ed. This is Sunday, June 12th, 2022. And I already have some visitors. It's Nelson. He knows I'm getting ready to cook. So tonight what I'm going to make is something called low carb pizza bake. Um, it's, this is not a recipe that I found. I just kind of made it up in my head because I thought, well, I kind of like to start eating some low carb food again because I think I really need to do that. And so I just came up with some ingredients in my head and we're going to make it and we're going to see how it turns out. Okay, so what I'm going to use is a pound of sweet Italian sausage, a pound of hamburger. Now, I've already browned those. And to that, I added two beaten eggs because it's going to hold the hamburger together and it's not going to be, hopefully, such a sloppy mess when we serve it up. Okay, and I'm going to make my own sauce and what I'm going to do is use two large cans of whole tomatoes. I'm going to use a couple cans, small cans of tomato paste with Italian seasonings, some pesto, some garlic juice, because I can't find my minced garlic. I might be out, I don't know, but I have this garlic juice and I've used it before. It works great. Some pepperoni and a can of tomato sauce and of course cheese. Okay, I've already put together the ground beef and the beaten eggs. I've already mixed that together and we're going to now make the sauce. Let's put the camera down here so you can see what's going on. So there's the blender and I know I've made sauce on here before but let's do it again. So add the two cans of tomatoes. Go ahead and start blending those so you can make more room in the blender. Let's turn it on, give it a stir. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're gonna blend it some more though. And let's add the tomato sauce. We're going to add a little bit of this garlic juice. Looks good to me. Let's add the pesto. I like pesto, so I'm gonna really put the pesto in there. And we're gonna take some of this tomato paste, put it in there like that. Let's blend this up before I add the rest of the tomato paste, because I wanna make sure um, I don't make a whole big mess. All right. Take the lid off. Kind of make sure that is stirred up. I love homemade sauce. Let's put the rest of the tomato paste in there. I'm scrape this out. Make sure it gets in there. Put the lid back on. Let's make sure we get the tomato paste all in there. Kind of push everything down so you get a good blend on everything. Let's add a little bit of oil, just like that. I used olive oil, you can use vegetable oil, whatever kind of oil you like. I think that mixed really well. Let's make sure we, oh look, yes, I've got it on my shirt now. So I'm going to pause the video, change my shirt because I don't want you to see me with pizza sauce splatters all over myself. 
Okay, I've changed my shirt. The magic of television. All right, so let me get some of this stuff out of the way because I want to show you this pan one of my friends got me, and I'm going to be doing a shout out. Okay, I'm going to move this blender over here and put the camera back up on me because I want to talk about something for just a couple minutes. All right, so I'm, I'm going to do a couple shout outs. Actually, I'm going to do three shout outs in one video. I know I'm going to end that shot, but you know, my small budget. Anyway, so one of my friends that I work with, and uh, her name is Tamara, one of my really good friends, and I just absolutely love her. She's a wonderful lady. Her and her family went to uh, buy some Fiesta wear uh, at uh, a little place. Not exactly sure where, but you can get different Fiesta pieces and, um, you know, at a discount price, um, I guess. It's like a wholesale uh, truckload deal or something like that. But anyway, so... She texted me the other day, and she said she bought me a little present. Of course, I didn't really think anything about it, and I didn't know it was going to be a piece of Fiesta wear. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I'm going to use it for this video, and I'm going to put it up here so you can see it. She got me the red Fiesta 9x13-inch baking dish. Tamara, this video is dedicated to you, and... Your two awesome daughters, Charlotte and Claire, who I am now going to mention. All right, so let me go over here for just a minute. All right, so as you will recall, in a couple videos back, actually more than a couple, I don't know how many, but it's been a little bit, uh, both these young ladies, Charlotte and Claire, drew pictures for me and sent them with their mom, and of course, they get a shout out every time they do that. This first one is from Charlotte, and it says, For Ed, CLM, 6-8-2022. Check it out, folks. It is a schnauzer. I love this. They know we have schnauzers. And Charlotte, I think th this picture is amazing. And of course, you know I'm going to keep it forever because I love it. All right. So now we're going to talk about this next picture, and I love this picture. It is from Claire, and I'm going to show you what it is, okay? This is a smiling hamburger, and it's from Claire. Claire, this picture is awesome, and I love it, and I'm going to do the same thing with Charlotte's picture. I'm going to keep it forever, just so you know that, all right? So here's your shout out. Tamara, one of my very best friends, and her two wonderful and amazing daughters, Charlotte and Claire, who I think are great artists. Keep it up, ladies. I think you're going to do really great in the future with everything you do. Okay, now it's time to assemble this, this low-carb pizza bake. I just called it that. I thought it was catchy because it's just catchy. All right, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to put the camera down here so you can see what I'm doing try to get that blender out of my way so yeah that's okay good enough good enough so as I mentioned I put this hamburger mixture and sausage mixture together with a couple beaten eggs so hopefully it's not gonna be a soupy goopy mess when we spoon it out and eat it Kind of pack it down in there so you have a good base. Now really the only thing it has to do when you put it in the oven at 350, I don't know, I'm going to leave it in for about 15 minutes or so. It just really has to get hot and the cheese melted because basically everything is done. You really only have to cook the meat. And the eggs, of course, make sure everything gets done. Okay, so I need to get a paper towel and wipe off my hands because, you know, that's how I roll. Okay, so let's just take, I was going to pour this sauce over here, but I don't want to make too much of a mess. It's, all right. 
you make do with what you have. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of the cheese. This is just shredded Italian cheese blend. Put a layer of cheese, how much you want, how little you want, doesn't matter. You know I like cheesy goodness. I guess it's kind of like lasagna. I don't know. The way I'm layering it. And with the eggs and everything. So, add your sauce. Just kind of stir it around there. Get some good sauce coverage. From side to side. Now... I might have made a little bit too much sauce, but that's all right. As I've mentioned before in my videos, you can actually freeze this. I've done that before. Now what we're going to do is some more cheese. Let's just get the rest of it in there. It's all right. Now I do want to put a little bit more sauce on this, just a little, you know, I don't want to waste it of course, but like I said, I am going to freeze it. Now probably what I should have done is put this pepperoni that I'm going to use on top of the cheese, but you know, it's all right. You put it together how you like it. It's going to be great no matter how you fix it. If we're lucky, that cheese will kind of bubble up to the top. Okay. I'm going to move that over there. Move the casserole over here. Pepperoni. I like pepperoni, and I'm going to put a lot of pepperoni, because you just can't go wrong with pepperoni. Now, I suppose if you wanted to, of course you can, put anything you want in this. Veggies, mushrooms, onions, green peppers, hot peppers, whatever you like. Put it in there. Whatever you like, whatever you don't like, leave it out, put it in, add double, add extra, add triple, whatever. Okay, so it's assembled, and yeah, I need, I'm eating a couple pieces of this pepperoni. All right, folks, what I'm going to do, put the video on pause, put this in the oven, about 350. Bake it until the cheese is bubbly. And we'll come back. We'll take a bite of it and see what we think. See you in a little bit. Okay, everybody. The low-carb pizza bake is done. I've taken it out of the oven. I left it in about 15 or 20 minutes. It started to bubble and the cheese is melted. So I think we're ready to dig in. And this thing is really, really hot. So just going to get a little bit out of here because I'm not super hungry, but I do want to taste it and see what we think about it. That's a little bit, you know, juicy on the bottom. I think that's all right. And here is a picture of it on the plate. Now, I do think adding the two beaten eggs to the cooked sausage and hamburger mixture did help um, keep it together a little bit. You might want to add one more egg or, you know what, uh, maybe put some ricotta cheese in there or, you know, something just to keep it, make it a little bit thicker. Okay, so now is the moment of truth and I'm going to take a bite and I'll let you know what I think of my made up creation. Okay, it smells really good. Actually, it smells like lasagna, to be quite honest with you. And there's some of it on the fork, and you can see the steam coming up. That's cool it off.
Well, I like it. You can really taste that sweet Italian sausage. I think that makes a big difference. And by the way, that sweet Italian sausage is great in lasagna. Or any Italian dish, actually. Meatloaf, too. Hold up, you know what I gotta get. My paper towel. Okay, I'd like to <clears throat> mention something. Now, you know, as I said, I just made this recipe up in my head because I just thought it sounded good. And you know, for a really long time, I kind of thought, oh, you know what? I can't really make up my own recipes. It just seems kind of odd or off or weird or whatever. And I really try to get myself out of that mindset because actually when you think about it, all recipes came out of somebody's head. And that doesn't mean you can't make your own. You know, you don't have to follow a recipe book. You can just throw your own stuff together. It's fine. If it's edible and you like it, that's great. And I'm really going to try to do uh, more of that. Because I think, you know, you make your own creations and uh, I think they mean a little bit more and you can make them to your own taste. All right, so let's have another bite here. I really like it. Yeah, I'd make it again. Okay, everybody. Well, I'm glad I got this video up and I hope you like it and... I hope you think it was creative. At least I think it was creative. And uh, I've, it's been a couple of days since I've been able to make a video and I wanted to do it. Okay, everybody. Well, I hope everybody has had a wonderful day. And I hope everybody has a great start to their work week tomorrow. And take care. Be well. Be healthy. Be happy. You know, and uh, just most of all, take care of yourself because you really need to do that. Especially right now in these crazy times. All right, everybody, I'm going to say it. This is Ed. This is Let's Cook It. And it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to taste good. Oh, by the way, hit the notification bell, the subscribe button, and the like button. That helps me out. Also, send along your recipes, tips, tricks, and everything else. All right, everybody, we'll see you next time here on Let's Cook It. Bye for now.